Why is zero to the power of zero considered undefined? Let's jump right into it. Right. So in the previous video, I looked at different iterations. So what I did was, you know, I said that, you know, zero to the power of zero, right? I can't really do that. I'm trying to prove it, right? I can't just put the value into the calculator. I want to prove why it's equal to one. So what I did was I looked at the 0 0.1 which is pretty close to zero, somewhat close, right? And then I keep, I kept adding a zero after the decimal point each iteration. So that would slowly ease my way to zero, right? And as a result, you know, zero in the exponent, zero in the base. Therefore, they have to have the same values over here, right? So that's the same thing. So I kept, you know, adding a zero in after each iteration after the decimal point very important and as you can see the value slowly slowly approach to one and this here is what i like to call you know we're looking at approaching zero from the positive side meaning i started with 0 0.1 and i'm decreasing slowly sl and slowly to getting closer and closer as you know i'm approaching zero from the positive side because i started with 0.1 and i slowly decrease however there's you know like in any situation you have to look at it from both sides you can approach zero from the positive side and you could do you can approach zero from the negative side as well that's very important and we could apply the same logic doing it from the negative side and if you do it like that you're going to be starting by negative one and you're slowly going to be increasing and slowly making your way to zero so you're going to keep you know adding an, a new zero after the decimal each iteration and as a result you know you lot are going to see that if you go on your calculator right now and you do negative 0 0.1 to the power of negative 0 0.1 if you have a negative base to the power of a negative exponent, you are going to obtain an error on your calculator. And this is true for any of them. If you try every single one of them, you lot are going to obtain an error. And we can easily state from the negative point of view that zero to the power of zero is actually an error. So just to summarize everything, from the positive side, zero to the power of zero is equal to one. However, if we got to consider the negative side, because it's two sides of every story, you lot are going to see that it gives you an error. And, you know, one side gives you one thing, and another side gives you a different thing, you know, but it's supposed to give you the same thing, but it does not. And as a result, zero to the power of zero is inconsistent. It's undefined. One side's giving you one value, and the other side's giving you an error. So therefore... 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. And that's the most correct definition. However, some textbooks, some authors prefer to say that 0 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And that's based on, on convenience. You know, you have some theorems which will just fail if 0 to the power of 0 is not equal to 1. However, the most correct definition, it's undefined. Bottom line, it's undefined. So I hope you lot enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you lot, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you lot in the next video.